Hey guys, this is Jamin, uh, bringing you another do-it-yourself computer video today. We're working on a Dell Inspiron N7010 model. Uh, I'm going to show you how to swap out your hard drive and your RAM uh, if you need to fix it because it's broken or if you're just upgrading. Um, if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Uh, also, check out the frequently asked questions. It could save you some time in the description. Um, but if you need to leave a question or comment, we get back to you within a couple days at least, so feel free to do that. Uh, first thing you want to do is flip this thing over. It has an easy little access panel right here. Hopefully your model does too if you don't have the exact model we're working on. If this is just the next best thing, hopefully you have a panel like this. Undo the screws. Pop open the panel. Uh, and this is really easy to access. It's your hard drive and your RAM right there. Um, huh, hard drive caddy is missing. Someone use this. Um, so generally speaking, there'll be a hard drive caddy here where your hard drive will be plugged into. Um, it'll screw in, you'll see some holes here on all four sides. Um, it'll screw into that, so unscrew those screws, these four, and then you'll be able to slide this out of the port like that. Uh, and then you'll take it up. Now the hard drive caddy will still be holding this, so you'll have to unscrew these two screws and these two screws to get that caddy off. Uh, make sure that you keep the caddy and the hard drive in the same orientation. You don't want to put the new hard drive in like this or like this. Um, you want to keep it going the same way for it to fit into that port. Now, if you're looking to upgrade this or replace it, uh, there's two things, major things you want to look for. This is a 2.5 inch hard drive. That's its size. Um, pretty common in, in laptops, 2.5 inch. And this connection is called a SATA connection, S-A-T-A. So that's what you're looking for, a SATA connection, 2.5 inch. And then you can kind of get it whatever size you want. This is a 500 gigabyte. You can get a 750, you can get a terabyte, whatever. Um, also, you can get a solid state drive. Same thing though, 2.5 inch SATA connection, solid state drive, uh, whatever size you want. And then you would just put it back into that caddy, slide it in here, plug it in like that. Um, this person apparently lost their caddy, so they just put that in there to keep it in. Not ideal, but it works. As far as the RAM, let me zoom in here and show you what you're looking at for RAM. It's got two RAM slots. And RAM is generally held in the same way in most laptops. It's got two spring-loaded arms here that hold the RAM in. So what you want to do to release it is, is, is pry them apart. The RAM stick should just pop up a little bit and then you can slide it out like that. And it, and it slides right out. Uh, keep in mind, just like the hard drive, there's a long port and a short port, so it won't go in like this. You gotta get it orientated correctly. If you want to know how to buy the correct RAM, uh, check out our video link in the description. Uh, and there's a lot of numbers here, and, and the video down there will show you how to buy the right RAM for what you're looking for, because not all RAM is compatible. It's also a good thing to keep in mind, um, a lot of computers, especially in, in this Dell, you can put however much RAM you want in this, uh, but it maxes out at a certain amount that it'll use. So if this computer will only take 16 gigabytes and, and, and you put in 32, you're not hurting anything, but you're just wasting money because it's only going to access 16. Um, so there'll be another link in the description for a site that we use uh, to look up computers to see what their uh, max is, so you're not wasting money. And then to put it back in, you slide it in that port, make sure it's flush, and then push it down. And it snaps right in, th those arms snap right in. So that's how you would quickly do the RAM and the hard drive, pretty simple in this model. Again, any questions, leave them below, we'll help you out. Please like and share if this was helpful. Thank you.